Hello everyone. Today I'll be doing a video presenting to you various things that I found essential during my first two years of medical school and during clinical rotations. I hope you find any of these helpful. First, I'd like to let you know a little bit about myself. Um, I'm currently in my gap year in medical school. I've already completed my first two years of medical school and taken the step one exam. And right now, I'm, I've currently been doing a year of research in child development. So I'll com conclude my research in June and will be starting my third year of clinical rotations in July. Okay, without further ado, here are the things that I found essential during my first two years of medical school and things I know will be helpful during my clinical rotations. First off, I'd like to present things that I used during my preclinical year, so my first two years of medical school, where I studied heavily and spent most of my time listening to lectures and taking notes and reading on my own. Okay, the first thing that I found really helpful when studying and taking notes are highlighters, specifically highlighters that come in an assortment of colors. I find that when I print out my notes and I'm able to use different colored highlighters, it makes my notes more easy to read. Similarly, whiteout is essential for correcting any mistakes you make when taking notes. For those that prefer to handwrite their notes as opposed to typing up their notes, mechanical pencils and an assortment of colored pens are great for aesthetically pleasing notes. Okay, so at my medical school, we first and second year students had two options. We could either sit in lecture halls to be presented the material or we can choose to be in the comforts of our own home and listen to the lectures via podcast. I chose the latter, so I found comfortable headphones that blocked out surrounding noise to be really, really useful. Now, I know a lot of people have these Apple earphones, but I found these black Panasonic headphones that I purchased off of Amazon for $8 to be even better. Honestly, like I liked the in-ear portion of the headphones I didn't find that it irritated my ears like the Apple headphones did and it's really great in blocking out surrounding noise like I can literally be at a football game and can still take notes and listen to my lecture that's how great they are they're also extremely durable I've had them for about two years this isn't sponsored I just really love these headphones now for those who find that they study more efficiently in complete silence or for those who are like myself and get distracted very easily when they're studying, I highly recommend foam earplugs. These can be purchased anywhere and at any convenience store, even on Amazon. I find them great for studying and for taking exams. All right, so this is a product that I actually found out about pretty late in the game. I found out about this about halfway through my first year of medical school. And uh, let me tell you, it's been a lifesaver. I know there are students out there that experience this. When you've been studying for a long duration of time and you're now experiencing um, back pain and neck pain, and that's not really good for your spinal health. So I found that this is great to prop up from my thinnest to my heaviest textbooks. And even the little clear prongs that you see at the base of the stand are great for keeping the book open and preventing the book from closing. So I found that when I place thick books like this on the stand, they stay open and you can easily flip from page to page without having to keep your back arched and your neck bent. So this promotes proper posture for better spinal health. So you no longer have to complain about your neck and your back. All right, next up is the iPad. Now the iPad is great in that it is compact, it's mobile, but in particular, one app that you can download onto your iPad is called Notability. Now this is an app that's useful for uploading your class notes, your class PowerPoints, or any other PDFs that you'd like to upload onto the app. And it enables you to integrate your own notes, whether that is handwritten or typed up notes. It allows you to annotate your class notes, your class PowerPoints, or various other PDFs. All right, moving on to things that are not study oriented, we have the stethoscope. Now at my medical school, the Littman Cardiology 3 stethoscope is what came highly recommended by our peers. 
Okay, so this right here is the perfect H&P, and it's a booklet that can be found on Amazon that has about 100 to 150 blank sheets that serve as a template that you can fill out when you're interviewing your patient in your preclinical and your clinical years. It acts as a bit of a reminder as to what you're supposed to be asking your patient, ranging from OPQRST and the HPI to past medical surgical history, the ROS, and your physical exam finding. All right, the last and probably the most important thing is fuel. It is always important to have snacks and water on hand when you're doing any kind of studying, whether in grad school, medical school, college, high school, always keep your body fueled as you're fueling your brain. Okay, that's it, guys. Um, I hope you found any things that I said helpful. I'll definitely be uploading more in the coming weeks. So subscribe if you'd like to see more. See you soon. Bye.